Hey everyone and welcome to another video. So in today's video, let's see how to work with subscripts and superscripts in Excel. So what is a subscript? A subscript, as you can see here, is a small character or a number that appears right below the text line. So in this case, if you can uh, see the first example, B2. So the 2 here is known as a subscript because it appears almost below the character b and b raised to 2 or b square you can call it is in here a 2 is a superscript because it's a smaller character and it appears slightly above the actual uh, text right so you can uh, sort of you know use this in excel but there is a very quick method how you can do this so let's see some examples here so uh, for subscripts, let me take some chemical formulas first, right? Uh, let's say oxygen. So how do you represent oxygen? Uh, it's O2, right? And then you have a carbon dioxide, let's say. So carbon dioxide is represented as CO2. Now, if you notice, uh, this O and character 2, both are of the same height, same font, everything, right? So ideally, when you write it on paper uh, or, you know, if you're writing it somewhere else using a computer system, the two should ideally be smaller than O and it should be at the bottom. So that's where superscript come into picture. So let's see how you do that. For that, all you have to do, let me just enlarge it a little bit. All right. Okay, let me just move it a bit here and this a bit here. Okay, so you just select two that you want to make a subscript select two and under home tab you click on this arrow shaped icon here that opens the font settings okay i'm going to click here and now this dialog box comes up and under fx at the bottom there is an option called as superscript so you have selected two and click on superscript click on ok and there you go so two is now smaller and at the bottom of O, which is the chemical formula for oxygen. Similarly, you can change CO2 as well. Click on the arrow, subscript and OK. Now, similarly, if you are working with, let's say, variables, you know, in your computer system. So you may have some time requirement of, you know, typing X1, X2 and so on, right? Similarly, what you can do is just select the character, click here subscript okay and i'll also show you how to do a flash fill subscript okay so now you have x1 and x2 now let's say you you want to you know flash fill it or you know you want to auto fill all the other characters let's say up to six characters right you want uh, values up to x6 how do you do that so you just select this just like you uh, auto fill any number any series of numbers and just drag it down so you can see uh, Excel automatically recognizes that this is a subscript and you want it to be in a particular order. So it accordingly creates it for you. All right. So if you are not familiar with how to work with flash fill, I will uh, leave the link to the actual flash fill video in our uh, description section. Please go and check it out. Similarly, coming to superscript, it's uh, plain and simple. So superscripts, you can, let's say, ordinal numbers right so ordinal numbers are nothing but uh, when you you know when you type in a number as let's say first or second for that matter right these are called ordinal numbers okay so when you represent one as first and second as uh, i mean two as second three as third that's when you call it as ordinal numbers so it basically gives you the rank of that particular number now you can change it to a superscript the st so select st Again, go to the font settings here, click, click on superscript, click on OK and there you go. So you have changed it to first now. I'll change it to second and show you how you can do a autocomplete. So select superscript, click on OK. So you have first and second now. And if you notice, you come here to the corner and click and drag this symbol. And there you go. So you have first, second, third and fourth auto created for you, right? 
So this again uh, depends on how you do the autocomplete or autofill in Excel. And again, uh, if you want to work with uh, variables and superscript model, you can just do x1, x2, right? Select the number which you want to make it as superscript. And there you go. So it is that simple. And it's uh, pretty useful when you're working with formulas and, you know, chemical reactions, let's say, and you want to use uh, Microsoft Excel to achieve that target, you can make use of subscripts and superscripts. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions, any feedback, please post it on the comments tab. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you're yet to subscribe, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you with another video next week. Thank you.